Welcome everybody to part 25 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition Gen Playthrough and we are on the fourth DLC mission. This time it actually is Zugadon's Fake Rebellion. Because Wen Qin had betrayed Wei and went to Wu and Suma Shur is dead. So guess what? There's no Suma Shur for the rest of the DLC. That Except for the joke DLC, unfortunately, where he's not even playable. And I'm pretty sure all who played the DLC knows exactly what that joke DLC is. But whatever the case, folks, Zugadon and Sumashur are going to end up working together to try to deceive Win Chin in order to topple all of Wu, a la what happened to Sao Shu. In other words, they're going to pull a Sao Fong. And it's hilarious how they const I mean, that's sarcasm in my voice, but it's hilarious how they constantly bring up what Shou Fong did to Sao Shu. And in Dynasty Warriors 9, that's literally making him the butt of the joke. Hilarious, yet sad. Hopefully he gets better uh, character development in Dynasty Warriors 10. Aside from being that guy that ended up being tricked so badly. So, on that note... There is a reason I'm it's time once again we play as the smug prick. But this will be the last time for real. Because once we're done here, there will be no more Zhang He being played as an ally. Oh no. Because he's the star of his own actual rebellion in the next part. So the whole gist of this plan is to follow instructions. That's it. And Zugadan ends up dropping uh, speed shoes as opposed to dropping... Uh you know, any sort of experience. So don't be surprised if he drops random items. It's supposed to be a fake betrayal. And another thing I need to point out, in case people get confused and thinking that there's some way for you to go and there is a uh, alcove over there or some sort of ladder, there isn't. There is no way for you to get to that top level without having to actually get yourself seen first. And then there's the other caves. While Zugadon is busy setting up ambushes, which by the way, we don't want to take too long. He's going to set up those ambushes and we have a certain amount of time. Now if this defection plot Fails, you have no choice but to face off against Zugadon for real. So in all honesty, the only way this will fail is if you uh, screw up royally. And there's only one way to screw up royally when it comes down to this. Letting the messenger get to... Uh, letting the messenger get to the main camp. And if you do that, then you'll have no choice but to fight Zugadon, who will be on uh, Wu's side just to try to, you know, keep the ruse alive. Then you'll end up having no choice but to fight Zugadon and Wen Qin. But that never happened because this is actually pretty easy. But you do have to take care of Win Hu first. And you might want to be at a higher level. Preferably 50 or 60 on normal. Anything higher than that on hard. Like at least 70. But most importantly, you do need to be 50 or 60. Or for the most part, have some um, attack boost from ambition mode. In order for you to even remotely try to survive this. 
and more importantly, take care of the enemy so that way the messenger won't get to the main camp. Because if the messenger gets away and gets to Wen Chin, all your plans will be for naught. And those ambush troops will be as good as dead. Alright. We're just going to kill off all these guys here, especially Wen Yang. Wen Yang, who, by the way, cost me the royalist screw up back in part 9. Never going to forgive that, by the way. That's the spirit. He will come back again. And when he does, he's going to try to avenge his father. So, on that note, let's take care of the unit commander. We have no choice but to go up there, and as soon as we do, we have to take care of the messenger that's sent, who will be coming from behind instead of coming from in front. Yeah, in fact, the messenger just appeared right in front of me right then and there. Well, that takes care of the messenger. So now, the only thing that's left is taking care of the guy who happens to be in front of me and heading straight for the palace. And that takes care of all of that. Because once we make it to the back door, it's pretty much all but over for Wu. The funny part is, Sun Chin doesn't show up to help. Then again, considering the actual Sugadan Rebellion, yeah, it's a good thing he didn't. This is our chance. So, on that note, let's just eliminate everyone that stands in our way. And some people are going to flee because of the ambush forces. And just like that, we're in near subjugation before we even get to Win Chin. Although, Ding Fung's going to show up to join. The only person who... Oh yeah, and Win Yang's going to reinforce again. And that's going to be the last time we're going to see Wen Yang as an enemy. Because once we're done here... Oh, I had to do something about that, because he was going to try to... counter me again. Because once we are pretty much done here, Zugadan has to be at least saved. Because he is, in fact, the main person who is in charge of this. So, he cannot die at all. So there's only one place left to go, and that's at the bottom where all those Wu officers are. I'm gonna have to defeat every last one of them. And look, Lu, Lu Kang has fled. Yeah, the last bastion of hope for uh, Wu when it came down to the final battle between Jin and Wu. He ends up fleeing. Isn't that just sad? That's sad because of the fact that if they're that quick to give up on Wen Chin, that's just imagine their whole country. So on that note, oh, and Lian Shi has already been defeated too. Normally she'd be still around here with Ding Fun, but she was just recently defeated, and so too is Wen Chin. Uh, might as well do the uh, Ray Charge because I haven't shown that off, but it doesn't matter now. Uh, I. Ended up accidentally killing one team for show of the rage art. Okay. So on that note, folks, that takes care of this DLC. In the next episode, enjoy the smug prick while you still can, because now he's going to be your enemy. It's the first of two star requirements, starting at part 26. This is Man 985 Peace out, and take care. Why do we have to pay for star requirements? Seriously!